Today I'm bringing you my February favorites. This is a video series where I show you all different kinds of things that I love. It's not just about tech, which this channel isn't just about tech either. If you didn't know, this channel is called Not Only But Also Tech, aka Nova Tech. And I named the channel this because at the time I wasn't just into tech, I was really into sneakers and other gear as well outside of the tech community. So that's why we're called Nova Tech. If you didn't know, education. This series has been a lot of fun for me to make. I got a lot of good comments last time. A lot of you are out there actually buying the stuff that I recommended from January favorites. These are things that I personally use on a day-to-day -day basis and can swear by. I love these products. Definitely go check them out for yourself. I'll be sure to drop links below so you can pick some up for yourself, your loved one, your friends, your neighbors, your dogs, your families, your friends, and blah, 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 blah. Let's go. So first up, we got this guy. It's been raining all day outside. Don't judge me, I have hat hair, but this. Ooh, look at that guy. Ooh. What do you guys think of my hair? Anyways, this is a classic dad hat. This is what all y'all kids are wearing these days. And this one is specifically a New York Yankees hat. Fun fact, the Yankees will always be in my heart even though they're not my main team because my first baseball cap I ever got was from my brother, it was a present. It was a Yankees cap and I loved it. I wore that thing almost every day and that's why I'm rocking the Yankees. But more than that, this guy is a classic clean black on black on black logo and this guy is amazing. So this is from the brand 47. I absolutely love their hats. Of course they make ones for all different teams and some that are even completely blank. I'm considering picking up one that's completely blank actually. So drop a comment below. Let me know what color you guys think I should pick up. Dad hats. February favorite, number one. Number two. So most of y'all out there know that I am a backpack nerd and I got another sweet one to show you guys. This is from the company Thule. Originally, I called him Thule. It's spelled out T-H-U-L-E, but it's pronounced Thule. So this guy right here is the new pack that I love. Look how tiny it is. Look how compact you can crumple this guy up. You can store this into your suitcase while you're traveling. You can throw this in the trunk of your car, whatever. It's super versatile, nice and small, but it expands out pretty wide. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. My favorite thing about it is that it's got nylon to make it water resistant, but yet it's still very comfortable to wear. So it's got a top loading compartment that has a notch right here. And then it also has a drawstring to keep you extra safe keep your stuff extra dry. It's got tons of loops all over it. It's got dual handles. And this guy is just a super small, super convenient way to hold all your stuff. Even though this guy is so small, the back is still a little bit padded, which I like. Inside you get a little zipper mesh compartment. And of course you got a hydration pouch so you can stick a little camel back in there. There's a little hole for the straw to come out. This guy is first and foremost a hiking backpack, but I've turned this into one of my favorite favorite everyday tech bags. It's super nice to take this to the beach, take this on the go when you're going on a little hike or adventure. This is the guy I grab. There's not a ton of pockets on this guy, which is one of the downsides, but as small as it is, they were even able to fit in some hip straps for you guys. So what I love about this pack is that it has three different sizes. The 15 liter right there, I also have a 25 liter, I believe is what it is. And right here I got the 35 liter. This guy is huge. This is awesome. This is my weekend trip bag. It's got a lot more padding, a lot more rigidity. Of course, it's still got the hip straps and this one is a lot thicker with some pockets on it as well. And you just get basically the same awesome backpack. Same thing, you can kind of crunch it down, fit it into a suitcase or something like that. This one's a little bit more rigid. You've got a ton more loops. You've got a few more pockets. You've got a front loading extra pocket. Basically the same thing, but larger, different color, a lot more loops, few more pockets, just as awesome. So February favorites number two, this is the Thule backpack. It's called the Stir Pack. This is a part of their hiking gear series. I love Thule gear if you didn't know that already. They're super good quality pretty good price, and in general, they're just super innovative and last a long time. I most likely won't go over a bunch of prices in this video, but everything will be linked below if you wanna go pick one up for yourself. Also, if you haven't noticed already, this is just another part of my living room. I'm getting kind of bored of my old sets. I'm moving very, very soon, as in a couple months, a few months soon, so I'm super excited to bring you guys a new studio slash new apartment tour and get that set up and get that going, so hopefully in my new place, I'll be able to build a cool set for filming some videos. I'm curious. What's your guys' favorite set that you've seen in my videos? Drop a comment below, let me know. Item number three, a little tech. This is Logitech's new webcam. It's the Brio, it's a 4K webcam. The world's first, mind you, 4K webcam. I'm super excited about this guy. If you haven't seen any videos or any information about it yet, it looks like this. It's nice and small. It's got the space gray finish to perfectly match your new MacBook Pros and the crappy webcams that come with those. And the best part is, 
it runs on USB-C. This guy's super versatile. It's got a cool stand that can adjust in all different ways. The best part is the stand actually helps it just sit on your table if you want to, or you can clip it onto the top of your computer. Not gonna show you guys any footage in this video, but if you guys wanna see a full review, make sure to drop a comment below, let me know about that. I gotta do this though, guys. Ooh, that felt good. That felt real good. This thing is just built extremely well. It looks super clean, almost exactly like it was an Apple product and designed to be used with some Apple computers. Again, that space gray, that USB-C in general, the packaging was nice and clean, super minimal. Comes with a USB-C cable, which is nice. Super easy to use, super intuitive. It's a 4K webcam, what else can I say? So this is the Logitech Brio. It's pretty dang expensive. It's a 4K webcam, it's freaking awesome. But again, it's pretty dang expensive. If you guys want one at a slightly discounted price, hit me up on Twitter. I got an extra one that I can sell you. Next up, smart lights. Guys, you remember my best smart home tech series? That actually did really well. I should probably continue doing that. But anyways, LifeX bulbs. I gotta give these guys a shout out because I just love their products. They're super easy to use. Yes, they cost you a pretty penny, but I still think this is a better option than getting the Philips Hue and the bridge and the starter kit and the blah, blah, blah. So for LifeX bulbs, all you need is the bulb. This is the newest model or newest generation that they have right now. They fixed some Wi-Fi bugs from the past. Everything works amazing now. All you need to do is buy this bulb, screw it in, and it'll start working. It's got its own Wi-Fi. You don't need to buy a separate bridge or a router to link it to. This guy has millions millions of different colors for you to choose from, different moods that you could put it in so it'll change the color all on its own. LifeX bulbs, February favorites, love these guys. And this one, special shout out, LifeX made their own little LED strip. It works just as you would think an LED strip should and it's so easy and intuitive. If you've already got some bulbs, you should definitely invest in the strip. Again, you don't need some special router or bridge to connect these two. You can just use your phone, you can use your Echo, Echo Dot, whatever. LifeX bulbs, Life XZ, these are awesome products, definitely check them out. If you're thinking in your head, Jerry, it looks like you're just telling us about a bunch of stuff that you're getting paid to talk about. Well, you're crazy. I wish that I was getting paid to talk about all these things, but again, these are all just personal favorites of mine that I use, that I love, and that I wanna share with you guys. So stick around, check out some more cool stuff. Here we go. Next up, tack form. I don't know if any of you have seen any of my phone car mount review videos or whatever the heck, but one of my first videos ever was about a phone car mount, like a magnetic car mount. And for some reason, ever since then, my channel has blown up when I do phone car mount reviews, even though they're not the most fun to do. But this is a new company that I found, and I like this company a lot, first off, because magnetic car mounts are my favorite. Second off, the old magnetic car mount I had, the magnet was actually on your phone, which is kind of cool, because you could put your phone on a refrigerator, on top of your stove, whatever, while you're cooking. Um, it was kind of cool, but you have no freaking idea how many of my credit cards, my ID cards, my school IDs, my freaking, even my library card that got demagnetized and it was the worst thing in the world. So I found these guys. This is basically another magnetic car solution, but instead of having a magnet on your phone, it's like a really, really thin piece of metal that you can put on the back of your phone or even if you have a case, you can put it inside your case so it's nice and thin so you don't have it directly on your phone or sticking out the outside so that people can see it like a sore rectangle or circle that's just looks weird. So the best part is you can hide it, but still have that magnetic functionality for when you're in your car. Or the best part is life hack. I actually like to take this guy, this specific one. This is the Magneto Mini Low Pro. It's like a little circle mount instead of like a big suction cup mount or something like that. And I actually have it stuck on my desk setup. So my next desk setup build series video is coming out very soon. I know you guys are anticipating it and I just, I kinda wanted to space it out. A lot of people are complaining, wanting it to come out sooner and sooner. I'm trying my best. It takes time to make these videos as well, guys, so I'm doing my best. Be patient with me. This is gonna make an appearance in my desk setup, and this is kinda like a little sneak peek. This guy's awesome. Let's take a look. So these guys actually offer quite a few different ones. Like I said, this is the Magneto Mini, the low pro one, so it's nice and minimal. It's just this tiny little circle. It's got 3M adhesive on the back already. I can just stick it somewhere specific, like my desk setup. But they have other ones where you can swivel it and adjust the screen so that you can see it better while you're in the car. Or they even have a suction cup mount one. The best part is that they are universal. So here's the suction mount one so you can just kind of see it. Super simple, suctions onto your window or something like that, or even your dashboard. They come with like a little adapter adhesive you can put down so you can suction it onto this. But if you check out the plate, it's the same thing, guys. Literally the same size, same thing, so that your one phone plate on your phone, if you take it from your desk setup, 
you can go straight to your car and just stick it onto your car without having to have a different mount. So that's pretty cool. Basically, inside the package, you get some plates, you get the magnetic portion, you get some extra adhesives, and that's it. You just, you're good to go. It's super easy to use. I love it, and I personally use it in my car in my desk setup. If you wanna pick one up for yourself, I'll drop a link below. If you guys are looking for a good car mount or maybe a good desk mount for your phone, check out TacForm. The next one is kind into the phone things, I guess. There's a company called Totally, not spelled with a Y, but they're the first company in the world to bring you a gloss white iPhone 7 Plus. And the cool thing about it is, you're not stuck with gloss white and all the scratches that come with it. It's just a cheap little case. Like the case costs like 19 or 20 bucks and it comes with a two year warranty. Basically they got some nice simple packaging, just some cardboard, but when you open it up, you get a little thank you card in there and like a nice little package. Actually very minimalist and very cool. And hey, a slim and minimal iPhone case. Makes sense that their packaging is minimal. If you missed out on getting one of those unicorn jet black iPhone 7 pluses, this thin little case will turn your phone into a gloss black case. And, like I said previously, of course they made a gloss white version as well, and they're the first company in the world to do it. This is what gloss white looks like. Nice and clean, super minimal, gloss white, guys. I love it! It looks freaking dope. I was actually really wanting them to come out with a gloss white, or even a matte white iPhone 7 Plus, when the iPhone 7 Plus dropped, but I had to settle for matte black, didn't even get my hands on jet black, or I actually liked piano black better, but they named it jet black, whatever. But this is a gloss white, I have a gloss black as well, and of course totally makes other cases as well, so definitely check those out. One of my favorite recommendations I made to you guys from the last video that some of you out there actually surprisingly went and picked up the jeans and tried them out and loved them, Page jeans. They are extremely comfortable even more comfortable than some of my Nike sweats or my Adidas sweats. This is the Black Shadow colorway, whatever. It's the same fit. The fit I get is Croft. It's like a skinny, super skinny fit. It's a good fit. It's super stretchy. The material is incredibly stretchy. Super comfortable, super soft, but also super expensive, in my opinion, for jeans. Um, this is one I'll tell you about the price. It can range from 150 all the way up to 200 or more. Um, this pair, I think, was around 170. Check them out. I know it's expensive, but you'll literally only need one pair of these and one pair of blue jeans from Paige, and you'll be set. I was genuinely surprised to find out that people actually cared about the jeans or the different clothes that I was wearing from the first January favorites and the ones that I suggested. Uh, I just wanted to throw that in there because they were jeans that I loved and things that I thought were awesome. So I got some more recommendations for you guys. I don't think anybody out there knows this, but I'm actually a huge, huge fan of hoodies. I just think they're super cozy, they're nice to wear. You can dress them up, surprisingly, but you can also just wear them casually and that's what I love about them. They go with jeans, they go with joggers, they go with chinos, they go with shorts. Why not get some comfy hoodies and not really break the bank? I found a new company, obviously not new, but just new to me. This company's called Alternative. I think they're called Alternative Apparel, but this tag just says Alternative. So here's a camo hoodie right here, and I also picked up a plain black hoodie. So. These are literally the softest hoodies that I've ever felt. This is some soft, soft material, and you need to check out these hoodies. The best part is they retail for like 50 or 60 bucks, but you can get these on Amazon for some reason for like 30. So definitely go pick these up. They have all different colors for you to choose from. Like I said, I got the camo color right here, and I think this is called True Black, which is really weird because I will warn you, it's little bit of like a faded black, almost kind of greenish black. But if any of you guys know about American Apparel hoodies, those guys are pretty soft. They're pretty good quality hoodies that last you a long time. These are way softer. That's called American Apparel. This is called Alternative Apparel. You could say that these guys are kind of like an alternative for you. Next up, I found a dope company that makes pins. Yes, you heard me correctly. Pins. The company's called Reppin, Reppin Pins, and actually a friend's friend owns the company, which is pretty dope. These guys are based in Chicago. These guys are the PK OG NMDs, hint hint, sneak peek, wink wink, and I picked up a couple extra to show you guys how cool these guys are. Check this out, this one's a pizza, and I got another one. Got the Chicago OG Retro Highs. Yo, these are my favorite Jordan ones, but I don't own them. If you guys wanna hook me up and find me these guys for a reasonable price in a size 11, I will love you forever. So these are my favorite shoes. I have them in a pin. Sadly, I don't have them in real life. These are dope pins. They got a ton more on their website. Go check them out. I'll link them below. Again, not sponsored. People are always gonna think that videos are sponsored. Super annoying. But check these guys out. Reppin' pins, super cool. That's a perfect segue for us to go into 
the next product. Like I said in my last favorites video, I love sneakers. I'm a huge sneaker head. I'm trying my best to save up. I want to get back into that sneaker game and we're starting with these guys. How dope is this shot right here? When the NMDs first came out, I thought they looked stupid. I hated the bricks, like legitimately hated the bricks. I thought this looked like a terrible shoe design. Long story short, it's been a while. They've released a ton of different NMD colorways and different styles. And I just, for some reason, something clicked in my brain and I just started loving them. I just had to have them. I wanted them for so long and I finally, finally pulled the trigger and picked these guys up for myself. These are the PK NMD OGs, and first off, PK means prime knit. That's this material that the shoe's made out of. It's super soft, it's like a sock. It fits nice and snug. I love, I love, love, love that this shoe liner is like a sock right here. And as you guys know from my first video that I showed you with those Nike free run fly knit motions is what they're called. They don't have a tongue and I think that's the big reason why I love that shoe and that's why I love this shoe now as well. It's incredibly comfortable and nobody out there knows this right now because you don't really talk about it but I'm pretty flat footed so I don't have a great arch and surprisingly these dumb bricks that I used to hate, this red brick especially, gives me quite a bit of arch support. These are my new favorites, not just in February, but these are my new favorite shoes, period. All you sneakerheads out there, help me out. Nobatech, me, I'm looking for the French beige in a 10 and a half. I need it. French beige, 10 and a half, and I'm not trying to get ripped off. I'm not trying to pay 400 bucks for it. So guys, help me out. Hook a brother up. Got my first pair of NMDs, looking for my second pair. Probably gonna do an official unboxing slash review slash on feet video. So I'll show you a couple shots of the shoe here, but if you wanna see that full video, make sure to drop a comment below, let me know. So one of my new February favorites that I use almost every single day is actually from one of my students. So shout out to my student out there. Not gonna give out the name, but you know who you are. They gave me this guy. This is a pop socket. It's from the space between us, but this is just because it's a generic pop socket. But you can get all different kinds out there. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them in all different stores. But what a pop socket is, is it's something that pops out. And what's cool about it is that you can put your fingers in it so you can hold it. Hold it like this so that it doesn't drop on your face when you're watching videos in bed or something like that or when you're texting, whatever. That happens to me all the time. That's one of my favorite features. It's nice to just have a little handle when you're texting, when you're walking around, whatever. But one of my favorite things to do with it is use it as a little TV stand. So when you rest it on a table, on something like that, you can use the pop socket as a stand. And when you're done with it, pop it back in. So it's got two different levels for you to choose from. It's super easy to use. They're super cheap to get. Definitely check this guy out pop socket. So these are my picks from my February favorites. I'm curious. I want to know what your guys' favorite product from February is that I just showcased here and maybe something that you personally also love that you found out about in February that wasn't showcased here. So hit me up in the comments below. You guys already know I read and try to respond to every single comment. I do my best. It's fun. I like interacting with you guys. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like on that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button down below. And for all you that are subscribed, click that bell button next to the subscribe button so you can find out exactly and be notified exactly when my next video comes out. I'll talk to you guys later. My name is Jerry Lamb with Tech and to the next one and beyond.